Hi, I'm Pallavi and I'm going to show you a playful take on classic colors in makeup. From a sheer gunmetal eye, paired with a very unusual emerald green as a coal, and a really hot pop of pink on the mouth, this look really screams playfulness and dares you to be the contemporary Indian woman that you are. To show you this look, I'm going to be using a range of cosmetic products from Studio West by Westside. I'm going to start with a palette of greys in eyeshadows, and it's called Smoldering Greys. I'm going to primarily use just these two colors, which are colors that you would normally use in a smoky eye. Now the different take on this one is that we pack on a color to create a really dark smoky eye. What I'm going to do is do a really light layer of color, just a suggestion of color, so to speak. So it's like a wash across the lids using just the gunmetal and the silver. So I'm going to start with our upper eyelids. Using a blending brush, which is soft and rounded, so you don't get very intense color. Make sure you use very small round motions because that way you know that the color stays in and there's a soft layer of color instead of a really thick packing. Just keep blending till you achieve a really silken smooth finish. So I'm going to get on with the other eye. The reason I'm just completing both the eyes is because I'm going to clean the shadow brush before I switch to a silver because I want a bit of the colors mixed in, but you can use two separate clean brushes as well, which would you know, be probably better if you're just setting out with makeup. So there's really soft uh, application of the gray. I'm just going to clean the brush with a ply of tissue. And then I'm going in with the softer, lighter silver gray. What I like to do is add a small pop of color in the center of the eyelid, just to give some life to the gray. Not changing the brush, I'm just adding a little accent. Just using the silver on her brow bone. What this does is adds a highlight. So there's a light color and there's a dark color and they complement each other. What I'm finding is when you have uh, two shimmer textures that are really close to each other in color, uh, it's hard to find a contrast, although there is a fair amount of difference between the two, but when you put it on skin, it's probably more difficult to see. But here's a tip. If, when in doubt, just use the darker color in the crease, which is what I'm about to do. And I want a fair amount of a difference between what's on the lid and what's on the brow bone. So just adding a small shadow of the darker gray into the crease. So not a very defined line or anything, but really blending in the color and bringing the whole eye makeup together. Just make sure that you pair your silver right to be able to carry it off. And if you're dark skinned, light skinned, medium tone skin, I think an Indian woman definitely can carry off silvers. Uh, maybe it's a good time to step out of the gold shine and uh, hit the silver shows. So I'm uh, now going to complete this look with a very modern twist using a green pencil but normally you would wear it in your eye and wear a little black mascara to make it all look smoky and sexy and smudged but I'm going to actually use this green in contrast with the silver. So I'm applying a really generous amount of emerald coal right under her waterline but slowly kind of uh, shortening my stroke here and I, softening it too. I don't want it to look very sharp. Make sure that you have this brush handy. It's a pencil brush and, uh, or a smudger brush. The thing is, uh, products like this do tend to dry quickly on your skin, so you want to use uh, most of its viscosity while it's still alive. So keep this handy while you're using this product so you can smudge in really quickly and you don't miss a beat. I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye. Also a little smudging tip, when you're smudging an eyeliner or a pencil, make sure you don't take very long uh, strokes with your brush. You want to make very small little strokes like this. That way you know that you haven't missed any bit of the skin in between. And the color pushes itself into those little grooves. I'm just going to tie that look up together with an application of black mascara. 
Make sure that the mascara is really intense in application because that's the only black you get uh, to use and that really would define the shape of the eye. And uh, with metallic eyeshadows, uh, you'll notice that there will be a bit of fall on the top of your lashes. You don't want that because then your ash lashes look dull. So if you can have someone else do your mascara and do it from the top, great. Otherwise, make sure that you have a clear mascara and clean up the top and then go in with your black mascara. Make sure you work your mascara from root to tip and giving it a gentle curl on the tips. Now I'm getting on with the blush. Uh, we've chosen a really soft pink called Pink Quartz. It's a sheer blush. I'm going to keep it quite simple because the eyes are quite colored now and the mouth is going to be colored too. So just a smattering of this color on the cheeks. Pinks work really beautifully uh, with uh, silvers, so it's a great pairing. And uh, also with the lipstick, I've chosen a really hot pink, so uh, it completely takes the look and turns it around. I'm going to finish off the look with this really hot pink lipstick. Uh, it's called Pink Passion. It's a long-lasting lipstick. I'm using a lip brush, but of course, if you choose to use it uh, straight away, you can because it's a very opaque and you won't need to layer up. If you have any balm previously, which I have applied here, I'm going to dab it off with a bit of tissue so you don't want the lipstick to slide. If you're somebody that likes to define your lips very clearly, then I would recommend that you use a matching shade uh, in a lip pencil to define your lips first and then go in with the lip color. But this is a long-lasting and very opaque color. So I'm going to go directly and use it with the lip brush. It's a very creamy formula, so there is a bit of sheen on the lips. But if you're somebody that likes uh, to wear a matte, bold color on your lips, this is a really easy trick. Take a single ply of tissue, place it over your lips, and using a powder brush and a small bit of powder, just dust over. So you get the shine off. And once you take it off, you'll find that you have a really matte, bold uh, colored lip. I quite like it like that, but if you're somebody that likes to uh, play with textures, this is a great trick, and or you can wear it creamy just the way it was meant to be worn. And that's a wrap on this uh, look, and I hope you learned that there's uh, so many things you can do with makeup. Take a smoky eye and twist it, take a colored line and wear it differently, and uh, add a pop of color. It's something that you would never think of putting together. So here's uh, makeup for the modern Indian woman. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more videos on how to use your makeup creatively, watch us on Glamorous.com.